After two hard-hitting hurricane seasons, boy, were they ever here in Northeast Florida. We know people are preparing. Yeah, we hope we've all learned our lesson. Uh, Matthew and Irma did billions of dollars in damage to homes and businesses. A lot of people are still rebuilding, still recovering. That includes beekeepers. The storms wiped out colonies, killing millions of bees. News for Jacksonville reporter Allison Henning is joining us live this morning. Allison, you spoke with a local beekeeper who explained the recent rain already. Has them falling behind? Yes, that's what he told me. He said this year started out great for both honey production and pollination, but it did take a turn with all the rain that we have been seeing over the past month or so. And he said with hurricane season now here, he wants to make sure other local beekeepers are prepared. Bo Sterk is a master craftsman beekeeper in St. John's County. Right now, he's about a month out from a typical honey harvest. Yeah, with all this rain coming on, it could be better. He says this is about half of what he'd like to see around this time of year. The rain's really kind of set us back a little bit. On a rain day, if it's a good rain day, they'll eat about six pounds of honey a day. Weather is always the unknown for beekeepers across the state. After Hurricane Matthew in 2016, Sterk faced devastation, losing 35 of his 40 honeybee colonies. With the, it was the wind and the, the water actually both combined. With Matthew, the ground got so saturated that they couldn't hold the support of all the colonies. They all tipped over. And when they tipped over, all of a sudden you had high winds and bees on the ground and water and rain, and it was just a mess. Last year during Irma, he took a different approach, tying down his hives and protecting them from the wind. Thankfully, his honeybees made it through the storm, but that wasn't the case for millions of others across the state. Sterk says weather is unpredictable, but you can plan ahead. And as a beekeeper, Sterk says it is critical to make sure that the numbers stay strong here in Florida for the honeybees. So they're able to pollinate crops here in Florida, also all across the country. This year, Sterk is planning on educating others in St. John's County, other beekeepers, to make sure they know how to prepare in case of a hurricane. Reporting live this morning, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.